Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's it's finally time to play the worst stage in the game. Oh boy! Oh, and it's only part one. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I say stage, but it's more like uh, multiple stages. It's like a gauntlet. Yeah, it's like uh, the stages of grief, <laughs> which is exactly like the video game gauntlets. <laughs> Yeah, first one's denial in that you can't believe you're playing Gauntlet. The second one is uh, grief because you forgot to pick the Valkyrie. And then the third one is acceptance because you are playing the badass game Gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, well, Fourth it's accepting that the wizard, wizard does need food badly. badly. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I really like the way this, like the Cliff Notes plot is presented here because they have to get in all the emotional beats as well. I like this golden laptop. I, I'm sure that's what Pulpo's money went towards. <laughs> that's half the 600 million. But yeah, it feels like they just have to have. They have to make sure every character interacts with every other character at least once to make sure we get all the important beats. Like, Abachi, you're just fucking hating Jorno. Because we didn't get the boat fight where he just keeps telling Jorno how much he hates him. You ever think it's weird how Abacho is like, I don't know, 23 and he hates the shit out of this 15 year old? <laughs> I mean, Abacho was that's... also a cop, so. <laughs> I mean, I hate any teenager I meet, so. Ugh. Sounds like I'm in a let's play with a bunch of losers. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that's a generational divide sort of thing, right? Like. Abaccio is at the point where he kind of uh, believes he's an adult, but very much not, and that's why he hates kids, like, especially. Well, he's like, um, he's like a Generation X kind of guy. <laughs> so he's like, he thinks he's got it all figured out. Right. You know, I've been thinking about it, and how Fugo looks very different from his anime counterpart. I think the the benefit of a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game is you can pick any of the, like, 800 character co uh, color combinations that um, Araki made, and not only are they all um, then canon, but you also already have all of the color schemes for the, um, if you play as the same character multiple times. Mm -hmm. Or if, like, um, it's like a double dragon scenario where, like, on the next level you fight uh, Little Feet again, but it's a different colored Little Feet. Oh, yeah! So, uh, I just want you guys to pay attention to the very important thing that left-right movement is flipped in the Mirror World. <laughs> I already don't like this! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, left and right movement uh, is completely flipped in this, but not up and down, so, uh... <laughs> This is oh, a man. giant pain in the ass to control. This is like reverse flight controls. <laughs> so instead of being able to say, like, turn your controller around, right, you're completely left to go to hell because they only reversed some of the controls. That sucks ass. Yeah. I think in general, like, the very first time I played this level, and when I got used to it for three months, three months of just playing this game every two weeks, like this particular level, because it is insane. It, this is like an insane person's idea of reverse controls. Also, then, like, um, once you figured that out, you were like, okay, now I can finish the rest of the game, and you kept trying to play it under reverse controls. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say, practice makes persistence. I do like this song. This game's soundtrack has the vibe of just, like, arcade songs that are put in an entirely different sound font and then called a remix on YouTube, and I think it's neat. Yeah. Uh, 
I, I'm noticing the reverse controls mean that you're just walking into this dude's attacks 800 times. Well, I also gotta be honest. The most powerful thing against this man is slapping him while he has a standout. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this looks like a pain in the ass, even without the reverse oh. controls. Yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't help either that man in the mirror is just a gigantic son of a bitch who can also just combo <laughs> the fuck out of you with those knives. Yeah, it looks like you got him in a loop though. Yeah. <laughs> so, here's also the thing about this game that you'll probably only see for this one. The enemies in this game are really easy to break. <laughs> Like, if you just put them in particular corners, you can just kind of do shit like this, because there's always, like, a little bit of forward tracking for your slap move. Mm -hmm. Who do you think would uh, win a fight? Um, Man in the Mirror or Jay Giles? Oh, definitely Man in the Mirror, because uh, Jay Giles has two left hands, so he doesn't know what right is. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, instead of left and right being reversed, left and right would just both be left. Mm-hmm. Oh? <laughs> What with this weird trash bag that's dying here? <laughs> oh man, are we gonna have to survive two more minutes against Purple Haze? <laughs> yeah, but this time only up and down are reversed. Oh, thank god. Man, these shots of Abakio are almost always incredibly unflattering in these still shots. Like, especially his mouth. Just always very unfortunate. Yeah, it's very weird because I feel as like model was actually one of the better translations from like the art style to PS2 game. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but you're right. Like I couldn't tell if it was just he had an unflattering model or they just keep putting him in these unflattering positions. But he always just looks like he has a humongous chin. Yeah. I think maybe it's like how his lips are outlined because he's got the the black lipstick. Honestly, I'll say it though. I think Abacho should have the Peter Griffin chin. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> he's got a little stand that lives inside the dimple. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I guess like Abacho's hairstyle also just fits with the like, kind of the graphical capabilities of the PS2, in a way. Yeah, the angular aspect definitely, like, lends to being cel-shaded more than a lot of others. Mm -hmm. God, I'm just now noticing that he's got, like, a big, like, Flava Flay style medal around his crotch that just says A because that's the letter his name starts with. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I mean, branding is important. <laughs> So, I just want to talk about Abacho for a bit. Abacho <laughs> is the slowest character in this game. This is the absolute worst part of this game. Uh huh. Because he's not a fighter and also. <laughs> His big stand ability for this game is that you can basically, like, record his movements. Anyway, this fucking sucks to do in a thing where it also records your actual walking around movement and not just your fucking, like, attacks. And you are also in a mirror world. And guess what? This guy switches between the mirror world and the real world and the controls are different. <laughs> Jesus. And, uh, it seems like, uh, this is a very small room to have a fight in. <laughs> yeah. I do like you just, like, kicking him in the dick, though. So, yeah. Never use a Bacho Central gimmick in this fight, because this guy is way too, like... He can pressure you way too much to even do anything. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I guess the, the trade-off here is, like, it's a small room, so they give you, like, kind of the big dude who doesn't move very fast. But I don't think that helps when the gimmick of the other guy is teleporting. Mm -hmm. Like, that kick is super slow. <laughs> yeah, here's also the thing, the kick is the better move. So, like, that punch over there, that's, like, his regular attack. He has that instead of, like, everyone else's slap combo. Mm -hmm. And look at how little damage that did and how long it took to start. <laughs> at least, like, the kick has range. And a follow-up. Uh, what can Moody Blues do? Oh. Strangle him. Yeah, he can strangle people. <laughs> so, this is not you having recorded your moves. This is you just actually controlling a character, right? Yes. Okay. That little thing I did just there with the timer, that was me, like, using the moves I've recorded, which was just walking around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, when you record your moves, does, like, and you play back, does it automatically move to where you were playing back, or does it just repeat the controls you put in? It repeats the controls <laughs> oh my you put god, in. Oh god, that sounds so useless! <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Anyway, this is the only part you can play a bot show. <laughs> cool. You know what? It sounds like it's probably better off that way. <laughs> but he had so many fights in the anime. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Abakio's stand ability could put, like, in some way it seems like it could be used in, like, cool ways, but this doesn't seem the game to actually be able to do something like that, yeah. considering your moves are basically you can hit or you can hit, but different. Like, it seems like if this was, like, a fighting game, like one of the Capcom ones, you could do, like, really interesting combos where, like, oh, you do this and then... You you record that and have um, Moody Blues like play that back while you're also attacking from like the other side or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, this game is essentially just kind of like a bus rush game, and yeah, it isn't very great for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Abacho's uh, power seems like it's more suited for doing something like in that first fight with Bruno, where you have to like figure out who who Bruno's to put in. You know, like. Something like that, where it's a little more adventure gamey and a less fighty, seems like something he could do. But, oops, they just wrote that for now. Mm. So, like a mechanic you could have used for the secret factors. Also, Bacho states didn't have any secret factors whatsoever. <laughs> oh, that's why it just gave you ten secrets at the very start. That explains yep. a lot. <laughs> Well, Abakio, he's a detective. He found out all the secrets just by looking at the room. <laughs> right. Anyway, welcome to probably the hardest thing I've had to do all year. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta do the same thing again, but with uh, Fugo now? Yeah. Right, so Fugo, on the other hand, is actually really good because... Uh, his stand is super fucking powerful and can just do so much damage. Yeah, and he's got these great loops. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for this viewing, but I... Like, this was like my fucking sixth attempt. <laughs> like, I just wanted to have this fight over with. I mean, I feel like exploiting something like this is important to show off, especially for as bad as the gimmick is for this fight. Yo! All right, so um, here's the cool thing about Fugo Stand. Fugo Stand has like a Mortal Kombat uppercut. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. is what you can do with it. Yeah. So I'm noticing also that you've got like a little meter on the bottom right. That's all your little um, poison tablets. <laughs> like a knuckle tats meter. <laughs> you know how you can like yeah. uh, charge up your like stand brush. Yes. Purple Haces essentially does more damage the more you've got it charged, and for each level of charge it takes away one of those orbs, so you have six of those orbs maximum. Okay. Um, coincidentally enough, you need to finish this um, match with a level 3 charge. Well, good luck! Uh, is that, like, just the secret factor, or is that, uh, like, mandatory? 
that's just a secret factor, but I'm here to get all the secret factors. Right, of course, you're, you're a gamer. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm a gamer. I beat the famously hard Guardian 8. <laughs> so, Fugo's, like, basic moveset seems pretty identical to Giorno. Yeah, there is a lot of, like, shared in it. Like, a lot of characters in this game at least have that little slap combo, for example. And the main difference is mostly in the stance and how that one plays. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just how people fight in Italy, so... Like, I'm really surprised Whoa. they... Oh! <laughs> they decide to give uh, Bakio, like, a unique moveset when he is also a character that you only control for a level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, like... There's also some other, like, secret shit you can unlock oh, okay. that we'll talk much later on about. So once again, Purple Haze is way too fucking cool <laughs> true to the source material. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I also wasn't able to actually show this off in recording, but Purple Haze can also just get distracted by himself and resp stop responding to anything you put in. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> just like when he gets mad that he's drooling on himself. Yeah, he's mad that he's drooling on himself and he just starts cleaning himself and whips it rules so much. <laughs> That's so cool. Why isn't that a secret factor? <laughs> God, I wish that would have been so cool. But I assume if you got that secret factor, it would have been like literally impossible not to take damage. Right. Not really. Remember, stands only take damage on the stand gauge, not the HP gauge. Oh, okay. It's more just like, it's entirely random, and like, I just didn't get it to the point where like, it happens in the winning run for me. Right. <laughs> 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 Our badass hero. And then Abachio comes in and he's like, I don't. <laughs> I still hate you, you son of a bitch. I hate you even more now. <laughs> I hate that your stupid ideas work. <laughs> Abacho's going to, uh, like, lock onto the gold-plated laptop and immediately go onto the dark web to hire an assassin to kill this 15-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, a forum for their, um, for their mafia family. He just goes on posting on anonymous accounts how much he hates Giorno. <laughs> Can you please excommunicate him from the family? <laughs> <laughs> Abacho assassinates the Pope just so the next Pope can excommunicate Giorno. <laughs> yeah, even now Abacho's like, I wish I could just beat the shit out of this idiot kid, I hate him. Oh no. You know what? I bet next time Abacho will be wishing he was one of the Grateful Dead. <laughs> That wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. No. Let's do this Let's Play over. I'm recording my commentary with Moody Blues so I can do it again.